thanks to my friend Carl, I was fortunate enough to get and sit and watch Who Killed Captain Alex, the first of this double feature set. Now, Who Killed Captain Alex is regarded as the first Ugandan action movie released in 2010 and kind of filmed as a home video um, with a little bit more gumption uh, and uh, fun sequences than most movies actually. This is one of those ones that's got some really terrible special effects but understandably done by one guy with a home computer who has gathered together a bunch of friends and created a story that is wonderful and as I sat down to watch Who Captain Alex I was a little bit worried unsure of what I was going to get into but willing to give it a good old-fashioned try. Now there's several ways to watch this and one of my favourite ways or the way that I watched it is with VJ Emmy whom is almost like that disruptive friend sitting just talking all the way through the movie. Sometimes it could be narration telling you what the characters are thinking. Sometimes it's backhanded compliments. Other times he's just wrapped up in the action and having a whale of a good time. You are watching Who Killed Captain Alex and the first VJ in English ever from Wakaluwood. This is how we enjoy movies in Uganda. So you have this story of um, the aftermath of a kind of gang warfare and they bring in Captain Alex to try and stop these uh, drug runners and criminals from continuing their exploits. Unfortunately, somebody kills Captain Alex and it becomes a mystery movie, an action movie, as people are battling against each other. Um, all the while, we get to enjoy the wonderful commentary of VJ Emu who just makes this movie so much fun. Now, when I stuck this on, I didn't realise there was two versions of the movie. The straight up just movie or the one with the VJ. I've watched the one with the VJ. That is the one I will always watch. That made it so much fun. Jesus! You commando! There is a wealth of production value in here. Mostly, um, we get plenty of characters carrying weapons, we get various locations that look pretty terrific um, on film, they get some good action set pieces, some fight scenes that are really terrific, we get characters who are really enjoyable to spend time with, we get to see, uh, which is pretty much an amateur movie, but like a step above someone that's really got a grasp of filmmaking and storytelling uh, and imbues that throughout the film. Ugandan Bruce Lee. We call him Bruce Lee. But like I said, as much as this is enjoyable, a quick watch of just 64 minutes, as much as it has good action sequences and all that, it's just made all the better by VJ Amy. He is a master of his own destiny. Super tough mafia. This guy is just hilarious watching it. Um, the commentary is so much fun. The backhanded compliments are just ridiculously silly and over the top. The way he's just so excited by certain scenes, he just starts shouting, movie, movie, you best Ugandan action movie, this is how we do it, whoop, whoop. <laughs> just leads to an infectious entertainment and energy into the film that just makes this thing so enjoyable to sit and watch. It was exciting, it was thrilling, it was downright hilarious, it was pure entertainment and delivered on that front. If you're willing to forgive some not great moments of filmmaking, some not great moments of CGI, but just go along with the sheer enthusiasm that's captured on screen here, you are going to love Who Killed Captain Alex. I found it to be absolutely wonderful, just pure joy on screen. I laughed, I laughed some more, and finally, I laughed again because it was just so entertaining. Thank you, VJ Amy, for making Who Killed Captain Alex even better 
than I expected. I love this movie. I thought the, the, the ingenuity, um, the entertainment value, the, the infectiousness of the sheer thrill that everybody seemed to have with being on film was just terrific. Can't rate this one highly enough. Looking forward to Bad Black now, which I'll be checking out soon. Have you seen Who Killed Captain Alex? Is it something you'd be interested in checking out? I would love to know, just out of curiosity. As always, there's more videos of mine up here. You can see more of my stuff. If you want to drop a comment, we can have a discussion about this movie. Uh, and just, you know, above the comment box is a little heart button. Just click that to show that you love Ugandan action movies. And of course, you can join me on the Patreon or the membership program. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.